time, folks.
turn up the road and then down the road to our home, which was the last home on our driveway. We're back at home. Well, for a little kid, that was a long walk. And with doing that, I wouldn't have much energy, you know, to play at school. So, one day, my sister, who was nine months old, had started to walk, and she fell and broke her arm. Had to have a big cast. Of course, that even made it harder for her to walk. So that morning, my mom was involved taking care of her, and she didn't watch me go out. And I went out the street, and I said, oh, maybe I could just go down this path. I could see the school down there. So I started down the path the woods. See, it's a lot closer. And I came to a little fork in the path. I said, no, I'll just keep on going down straight. And I got down to the bottom, but instead of the path going all the way down to the street, it stopped. And there was a bank that was pretty steep, about 10 feet down. And so I was at the end of the path on the bank. But fortunately, I looked ahead and there was a big street sign and by it it looked like there was a path going down so I would have to walk along the bank and just go down that path. So that's what I did. I started walking down the bank and just before I got to the street sign I tripped and I fell. And there was a broken piece of glass and it went into my hand and blood was coming all over the place. I, of course, yelled, and then I went down the hill, and fortunately, the policeman was there, and he took the piece of glass out of my hand and put his handkerchief on it and said, hold it tight, and guess what happened next? I got to ride in a police car. Well, that wasn't the best way to go, perhaps, and you know what I thought? I thought maybe he was taking me to jail because I had disobeyed my parents. So I was sitting in the police car, there was no seatbelts back then, and the siren was going, and away we went. And the policeman saw, I was pretty upset, and he said, we're taking you to the hospital. I thought that was even worse, because I knew every time I went to see the doctor, what would happen? you get shots. Did you ever get shots at the doctor's no? Well, I got shots when I went to the doctor. So he got me to the hospital, they gave me shots, put me to sleep. The next thing I woke up, there was my mother and father and my grandmother trying to how what I was doing. And then I was afraid I might get a spanking, because back in those days they gave spankings out when you disobeyed. But they were so glad that I was okay and that they didn't give me a spanking. And so that was really good. My guardian angel was with me even though I had disobeyed and I got hurt. They kept me from getting more hurt. And then you can still see on my hand, right there, big scar that I have to this day that reminds me that I need to obey my mommy and daddy.